A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, August 18. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Private sector jobs in the Hudson Valley rose 7,300, or just under 1% to 816,000 over the year in July. The State Labor Department reports largest employment gains were in private education and health services at 9,200. That was followed by leisure and hospitality with 4,700 new jobs. Sullivan County scored the most new jobs year over year in July with 3.6% growth. The Orange Rockland Westchester metro area growth stood at 1.4%. House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy will be in Sullivan County next week at a private fundraiser for fellow Republican Congressman Marcus Molinaro. It will cost $75 to attend, and only after you send in your money will you be told where the event will be held. And the campaign stop on Wednesday, August 23rd, is closed to the media. This isn't the first time McCarthy's been in the region. He stumped the same time last year for freshman Congressman Michael Lawler and failed House candidate Colin Schmidt. Both are Republicans. To mark August as Child Support Awareness Month, the Sullivan County Child Support Office held an outreach event at the County Government Center in Monticello yesterday. Coordinator Laura McKay says they offer several services. Our office offers the service of helping to establish parentage by paternity petitions being filed. In fact, the office here in Monticello, we have DNA testing once a month to do that, but we do have to have a court order to have that test done. Uh, we also help with filing petitions through family court to establish the court orders. County staff were on hand to assist anyone who attended in need of guidance. Dutchess Community College is launching a new micro-credentials program for professionals who work with developmentally and intellectually disabled individuals. The college is partnering with the State Office for People with Developmental Disabilities, which is funding the program. Program Chairwoman Lacey Riley says it's for those who have been in the field for years or are new to it and would like to gain the credentials to work with those in need. They're doing everything from helping and assisting with their daily living needs, such as toileting and food and um, some of those basic needs throughout the day, all the way to providing social and recreational support, day habilitation programs, and that peer-to-peer support to achieve their, their personal goals towards independence. The SUNY Duchess program is designed to provide earners with immediate workforce-ready skills, knowledge, and experience, while also providing a pathway to additional credentials, certificates, and degrees. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The Sullivan County Attorney's Office has seven lawyers, and they will be adding another one to their roster to handle their caseload. The county legislature yesterday approved the hiring of an eighth attorney to help lighten the load. Assistant Attorney Thomas Cawley told the county legislators. The family court cases have exploded. The JD cases are insane. The type of, I, I eight years as an ADA, I, I cringe the stuff the, the sickened me to prosecute to a 30-year-old man. Robert's dealing with 75 a year, and these are 14-year-olds are the perpetrators. It's god-awful. The good news is the state will pay 90% of the salary of the new assistant county attorney. There was more gunfire in the city of Newburgh, this time late Thursday afternoon on Chamber Street in the area of Audrey Carey Park. Initial reports indicated investigators recovered several shell casings in the area and officers were seen standing by a car with a hole in the rearview mirror, which was shattered possibly by a bullet. Police searched the area for a suspect, but none was located. 
Orange County will hold a hazardous waste collection event for businesses, municipalities, school districts, and farms by appointment only on September 29th, and household hazardous waste and operations safe script pharmaceutical collections for county residents on September 30th. Both will be held at Delano Hitch Recreation Center in the city of Newburgh. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.